All the characters in this game look so beautifully sorrowful. It's still 12.06, zero minutes have passed. Maybe the clock is broken. Oh no, what's happening? Don't die on me. What are you looking for? Oh, it's asthma inhaler. Awesome. I used to get asthma attacks when I was a kid. I'm very familiar with this problem. Lauren! Lauren, open up, baby! Can I talk to this guy? Hey! I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dal. But I really want to see But I really to wanted see to see you. He just lets himself in. I should have locked the door behind me when I left. I guess Lauren would have had to lock it from the inside. She's screaming, oh my god. I have to go back in. What do you want, an asshole? I just want to punch right. him, I don't want to talk. Is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! Yeah, just kick the door down. If you're looking for trouble, you found it. Oh. I'm failing a lot of these button prompts. There we go, I swung and got him. I got him with the glass. Sorry for the damage, Lauren. Awesome! Dodge the chair. I did it. Oh no. Shake the controller, shake him off. One bottle. To the face. Beer bottle, even better. Yeah, I got him right in the nose. He's bleeding. Oh my god, this is going on and on. I just want to knock him out with one punch. Oh shit, I missed that one. Dodge, dodge. Up, dodge. These are hard to do. I did choose hard. Oh fuck, wrong button. Still fighting. It's very even. I don't know if I could have had the fight be over by now if I'd done better. Yes, tackle him. Oh my god, I think I won. This is not controllable anymore. I'll see you again, asshole. You're right, he's gonna come back just looking for me. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client thinks he owns me. He was getting violent and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. I think his first name was Origami. Uh, you should be careful. The will leave me back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. So on top of everything else that's going on, this game is going to be like a murder mystery. And we have to find out who the origami killer is. And so far we only have one suspect, and that suspect is Ethan Mars. Two years ago he lost his oldest son, and uh, he just snapped and went crazy and started killing people. He blacked out every time he was about to kill someone, and then he made an origami figure, and then... That's probably not the answer. This guy has very blue eyes. Boston blue. I'm glad I uh, went back and uh, saved that lady. I wonder what happens if you actually leave. Does she get killed or something and then she's not in the story anymore? That would be sad. This game doesn't actually, like, explicitly give you choices the same way, oh, White Knight, that must be for saving her. This game doesn't explicitly give you choices the way Walking Dead, do Dead does, where you choose one course of action or another. It seems like the choices are just based on, like, whether you fail or succeed at the uh, button presses, the, Q the QTEs, and also, like, just where you go and what you do and what how you spend your time, probably. The only choices I've seen so far have been, like, dialogue choices.
So um, I think the loading screens are like the faces of a character. It just shows you which character you're going to be playing as next. Is this the crime scene where Ethan was walking around a little while ago? It looks like there's a lot of cops crawling all over the place. My controller is shaking right now. Am I going to put away the blue stuff or am I going to just like carry it out here? Oh, I think I had a chance to try to use the blue stuff probably to stop the shakes, but I didn't do it. What am I thinking? God damn rain. It hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really in love with you. Ah, my hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. Zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent on Jaden, FBI. You got Agent Dale Cooper. Or Mr. Jayden? Yeah. Special dispatch from Washington. Yeah, of course. I'm showing the blue stuff by accident. Check. The pass. Who's Blake? There's a choice to talk about Blake and it just disappeared. Sometimes the controls are a little wonky in this game. You try to do stuff and it just like changes its mind about allowing you to do it. Reported. Already. You seem well informed. Who's Blake? Video memo recording, agent 47023, now I'm changing. He's got like Google Glasses. These aren't even out yet, and this game came out five years ago. Turn the sound down a little. Oh, that's to uh, take off my Google glasses. And there's a glove that goes along with them. Maybe that's so I can touch things and like the Google glasses will give me like information from the database about... All right, I'll keep them on. They cause me to see everything in this like sepia tone with a green tint. R1, what's that? It causes you to, it causes you to shake your hand at the ground. Some orchid pollen, concentrating on pollen in the air is quickly decreasing in this way. It gets higher in the direction of the body. There's a body, so this is definitely a crime scene. I hope this isn't Sean. Please tell me Sean isn't already dead. Very common. Pollen particles disappear from tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. I keep going for that. That's the wrong command. Well, that's okay. I don't need to wear the glasses all the time. I can actually, like, look around, talk to some dudes. These are, like, some portable lights. Way too many people here. Trying all over the crime scene. Yeah, you're supposed to leave the crime scene undisturbed until the forensics people get here. Am I like a forensics expert? Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant Blake? I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. Coming by your office this morning to He has like a me. thick, thick Boston accent. If you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highway, you come to the right place. Mike, can you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. So this guy is like the uh, police officer in charge of the case from like so the local police. What happened? 
Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. I wonder, I wonder which city we're right in. Now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Origami. Any news on the corner? You got that way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Drowned. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Where is this guy going? Has the time of death been established? Based on a rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the foreigner has had a look. Six hours ago, this mystery oh, victim was I drowned. Was Shit's there, and there were no witnesses. Got it? Yes, Lieutenant. There's like no tank of water here. Maybe the body was moved? Listen, you look busy. Do you mind if I vote around? Be my guest. I could have asked way more questions, but I wasn't hey, fast Jay, enough. Hey, you come to see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. I take it this guy wants to um, receive credit for solving the case before I do. So this is going to turn into a thing where, like, this officer tries to, like, solve it without having to share the credit with, uh, the local police. What's under that tent? Is that where the body is? pieces of like evidence up here. I'm using some really high technology detective computer system or something. On the right Blood analysis suggests it could be post mortem. Blood glucose level 0.87. Yeah, the body was moved. I'm right. Advanced and long lasting state of exhaustion. Yeah, This face is covered with mud, like the other victims. This face is covered with mud. What am I looking at? Did I look at everything already? No. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. So the origami killer doesn't just make origami figures, he leaves them with the bodies. An orchid and an origami figure? The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Could have missing five days ago. See reference file. Born 99. So if this game came out in 2010, he would have been like 10 or 11 years old. This serial killer has to be someone who's psychologically deranged. Um, he only kills boys so far, and it appears that like all of the boys are about the same age. And he also places like an orchid and an origami on the corpse. So. I think that that's symbolic of like some kind of traumatic experience that uh, the killer went through and he's like restaging the same type of uh, traumatic experience over and over again. I think I got all the clues already. I got all the clues with the body. Some of these are fake clues, they're just like pieces of DNA or scraps of paper and stuff that were like left by the officers on the site. One of them was born in 91, so he would only be 19 years old. 
The police academy takes some young, I guess. Maybe it was an intern. It's cool that you can just like scan a piece of like, you know, paper and uh, the glasses will like see if there's anyone on file with the same DNA. Very common. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Blood on the tracks. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. It could be Bob Dylan releasing another album. I don't want to get killed by a train. I'll have to press power one and scan. I got it. Has anyone looked way over here? I just turn around. Oh, it's taking off your glasses again. I don't want to do that. Does anyone have some donuts? Maybe some coffee? Snapple? Caravel ice cream? What's this guy looking at? Is he just pretending to be working? Oh, that was a chick. Alright, let's put the glasses back on and scan one more time for clues. Scan isn't turning up anything really. I'm heading back to the office. You stay. All right, let's leave. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. Maybe I can go with this guy. Oh wait, here's a clue. I don't want to miss that. Colin Smith. Harry comment. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the police when present on the waste. Oh, it has like their parents' names and everything in the database. I'm glad the police don't have this technology in real life. They would abuse the hell out of it. Maybe only the FBI has it and not the regular cops. the glasses before I can cross the line. This is definitely the way that Blake went out. Maybe this way. Can I talk to this lady, ask her for a date later? I can either get back out or I can start the car. I don't know where I'm going now, but that whole scene was really mysterious. Those are blue government plates. And it looks like there's a news van, because it's got like a giant uh, satellite antenna on top of it. For broadcasting live from the van. This is a very rainy city, wherever it is. I don't think the game actually gave us the name of the city. And now we're back to Ethan. I think that looks like a bat. A bat? That looks like a wolf. A wolf's head. That looks like a crab. A crab. <laughs> that looks like two grim reapers. Death. Death. 
anxiety it says on the computer. Is this guy my shrink? Neurologist? I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am it's worried about down. your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're it's funny, we're talking over, uh, like, headphones and earpieces. Jason is dead. So I can be on the other end of the office. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. This is one strange accident. therapy session. Accidents happen every day. Alright, get up. Let's you look around the office. forever for your son's death. How is Sean? Sean is... I'm just going to say unhappy. I know he's really unhappy. He just can't understand why I seem unable to love him. And what about you, Ethan? That's just a sip that down. Dead? Anesthesia? Depressed? Depressed? I no longer want to live. I didn't say suicidal, I just said depressed. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your <laughs> There's a giant poster that says Ego. Save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. I sit down at the desk, have a face to face chat. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I don't think I want to tell him about that. No. No. Even if Ethan is guilty of doing all this, I don't want him to get caught. This session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation. I later. really like Ethan. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I hope that was wise not telling the shrink about uh, the blackouts. Maybe the police will question him later and he won't be able to tell them anything. It was a really short scene.